This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Ah, thumbnail tutorials. <laughs> what can be more boring? That's right, simple thumbnail tutorials. You probably know me for my wild and complex thumbnails, but today I'm stepping back. I'm gonna make three simple thumbnails using different tools such as Blender, some AI, and a good old Google Images. And I think I'm gonna start with Blender. Open a new project, rotate around. I don't know. So first things first, we gotta do is delete everything. Because I'm a professional, I'm obviously gonna make my own 3D model. <laughs> yeah, right. Now we can go ahead and add an environment. And for that, we gotta click this button right here. And then we drag this window up, shader editor, and then we change the object to world. And this allows us to create an environment texture. Then we connect this to color and let's select this HDRI. Why can't I see it? Finally, there we go. Then shift A again, texture coordinate and mapping. Then we take object, connect it to vector, and then we take this vector and connect it to this vector. If you know anything about Blender, it's probably hella boring for you. And if you don't, it's even less interesting. So here's a picture of a dog. There we go. But if we render our image right now, we will get the background as well. We gotta go to render, scroll down, film, transparent, magic. Absolute cinema. After the render is done, go save as, save it somewhere here. All right, Photoshop time. Finally, on a Photoshop YouTube channel. What the am I doing with my life? All right, Photoshop. In Photoshop, we set up this resolution. Click create. Then what we do is we drag our render right here. So what I wanna do is create a solid background behind the iPhone. As you can see, it doesn't look that great. So let's change the color to something. Let's actually match the color. And with an exposure adjustment layer, we can create this nice light. Let's click on our iPhone, click filter, camera rough filter. Let's tinker a little bit with the colors, pull the shadows up and the darks. Let's also go to detail sharpening. We can take some light rays, drag it in, put it behind our iPhone, put the blending mode, put the bleh, put the blending mode to screen. And as you can see, we don't see shit. Let's go to image curves and put these together there we go look at that move it up a little bit look at that piece of yeah that's crazy crazy how stupid that looks now very important step is text make it big put it behind and after looking at it for a while i realized it's a great piece of work so back to blender i repositioned the iphone and this time it looks way better i also want the apple logo to pop so we make a selection around the logo and bam now let's delete that stupid ass text add a few extra highlights and boom after a while we finally get something we can actually look at and if you think it's too hard for you there's a second option Let's do something different. Let's uh, let's Google Monster Energy. Let's find a cool image. I really like this flavor. We go to Sora. What we do then, we click this plus icon, upload from device. We upload our image. Aspect ratio, let's do whatever. Let's do three by two. Let's write this prompt right here. We can choose up to two images, which is fine. Just click remix. A few moments later. What the f is this piece of there we go we got two images i think i like this one then we go back to the photoshop still have to work with your hands you still have to learn photoshop but where you may ask well i know just the right place for that skillshare skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of classes for creative people like us design photography, music, 3D, literally anything you can imagine, Skillshare has classes that take you from beginner to pro alongside a very supportive community. Most of you probably don't know, but I actually play musical instruments as a hobby. And one of my favorite musicians, Jacob Collier, has a class there called Music Fundamentals. I've really enjoyed it and felt so inspired to go out there and create. And as a YouTuber myself, the class YouTube Success by Marcus Brownlee was definitely the one I was most excited for. And if you guys like learning from my videos, experimenting with ideas and trying new stuff, you'll definitely find Skillshare useful. There's something really cool about having all these different creative classes in one place where you can just explore
explore and learn at your own pace. It's a great way to learn new skills and improve your current ones. So if you want to check it out, the first 500 people to use my link in the description or scan the QR code will receive one month free trial of Skillshare. I'm telling you, it's so worth it. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. What we can do now, go to object selection tool, select object and let's see how it, how it does. Should be good enough. Convert it to smart object. Let's put it somewhere here, I think. What we can do then, let's create another solid color. And we can choose either yellow or green color for the background because it's uh, it complements the can very nicely. What we can also do is scroll this and see what looks best for your thumbnail. So I'm thinking maybe green. Green kind of looks nice. It is too dark. For my liking so we go to camera raw filter again and let's increase shadows as well as blacks whites and highlights we can decrease a little bit click ok and there we go that looks a lot better what we can also do is let's copy that actually let's rasterize it and then convert to smart object then we flip it vertically uh the whole thing a little smaller a shadow here would be a nice touch create a little shadow or the monster can right here on the bottom and then we go to exposure we bring it down like this and draw a little shadow right here as well and put this layer behind like so and as we can see we have a nice reflection let's bring the exposure up a little bit a light coming from this side and maybe from this side as well should be nice so before and after as you can see it's very nice and what that allows me to do is create a nice highlight right here on a can but i'm not gonna use exposure i'm gonna use hue and saturation because i want the color to be kind of a green yellowish color make it very bright and this one is gonna be our small little rim light and there we go this looks a lot nicer now now what we can also add is another solid color i think green and then we turn it screen and we make this little halation effect like that double click on it and feather let's increase the feathering and there we go we have this nice little halation effect of course i'm gonna decrease the fill let's create another exposure layer and now we can add text for this thumbnail i feel like text is necessary so let's do i don't know if it's new whatever i just i'm just gonna add it let's make new bigger like so there we go and then what we can also do is Let's convert this text to smart object and let's choose a nice complementary color. I think we can just copy the colors from the can or actually let's do just darker like so. So it's not fully black. There we go. Convert it to smart object and again camera raw filter. Yeah, for this one I kind of want some texture in it. Grain is very important to tie everything together. Let's put it on six, maybe seven. <laughs> And there we go, after a camera raw filter, here's what we have. Here you go, a good option for my talentless AI users. I'm kidding. If you want to use AI, go ahead, just know that if you want to tweak the smallest thing without changing the whole thing, it's kind of impossible. You still have to do all the heavy lifting, so no, AI is not replacing us, you f***ing crybabies. Honestly, half of the time I don't even use AI, I just use a good old Google search. So that's our third option. Let's Google something like RTX 1590 to images. And we're just gonna look for some nice images, I guess. And after we find something... Oh, actually, oh, I like this one. Again, use object selection tool to select the object. I think it did a pretty good job. Convert it to smart object. Then what I want to do, I want to make it bigger so the last two we did were kind of playful uh poster like this one i want to make moody so position the gpu in a dead center and then i'm gonna go from there it kind of looks a little off center because this thing adds some weight to the to the gpu to the picture itself so we're gonna move it slightly to the right and that looks a lot more balanced let's uh, actually make it a little smaller let's go to camera raw filter again and try to get some more details from the shadows now we have a lot of noise and color noise which i don't want so let's make it a lot cleaner and add sharpness to get those details back then we create a solid color turn it red invert it and let's draw some nice highlight coming from above like this I don't know if I want 
texture on the background so let's leave it like that and now let's work on the gpu exposure and let's lower the exposure as you can see we made the gpu kind of integrated into the background now let's also add another exposure let's increase it this time we are going to draw a little highlight so before and after as you can see now we see that the light is coming from above invert the mask and now i'm gonna do the same thing but on the bottom like so now we have this very moody lighting and i want to emphasize it a lot more so we're gonna create hue and saturation colorize put it on red because the color of our highlight is red So here's what we have before and after as you can see it's very nice and moody uh, but I do want to add exposure adjustment layer and actually I'm gonna create just just a blank layer and I'm going to create a light coming beneath the GPU camera filter and there we go before and after and look how cinematic that looks oh my goodness this is how you make more of a cinematic thumbnails using Google Images. Of course, it's not perfect. You don't have control over angles and you only have to work with what internet has to offer. But with a bit of brain power and arms that don't grow out of your ass, you can still make it work. As you can see, this is a very different style from what I usually make. So leave it in the comments below if you like this video or not. Because I still want to experiment with how much editing I want and how I want to edit the videos. So just let me know in the comments below. I guess statistics will show me what you guys like or not. And this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider subscribing. Also leave a like. Then I'll see you in the very next one.